Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecorp channel. I'm back again with another video. This time it's a video for my techie friends. Uh, you might notice my channel has a bit of a split uh, techie versus um, motorhead. So anyway, this is uh, for you uh, techie guys. Today we will be adding, uh, connecting a PS3 controller to your Samsung Galaxy S3 device or basically any Android device will do as well. So um, this uh, controller I got off of eBay for 10, 15 bucks or something. It's a clone of a one, but um, it works just the same as um, as the other ones. It's got the start, you know, the or the, the power button, the LEDs, the the charger. It's a Bluetooth one, so it's pretty sweet. I don't have to use a cable to connect to it. But we have to figure out how to do that first. So um, the primary thing is that your phone has to be rooted. Err. Okay, well, if your phone is not rooted, check out my other video right here, and uh, this will show you how to root your device. Okay, so once uh, you're back and uh, your phone is rooted, uh, here are the couple of things that you'll need to do. There's about three or four steps here. They're not too bad. Just uh, stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to the Play Store. I won't, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm sure you know how. And download Synaxis Controller um, Compatibility Checker. Um, icon looks like that. So uh, bring it up here. Um, and what you want to do is um, turn on your PS3. Then hit the Start button. Yes. It'll go through a couple of times, and then once it comes up, uh, there's a bit of an important thing here. Um, okay, so do to do, do. There's an important thing here that you need to write down, and that is your MAC address of um, of your controller. So um, write this down. This not this one, but the one that it's going to show up on yours because uh, that'll be different. Um, it'll be different per every device. So once you have that written down, um, now we do step two, and the step two is on the computer. So let me show you how to do that. All right, step two. What you want to do is go to this website here, and I also post a link uh, down below here um, to um, to this website as well. So go to the website, download the Synaxis Pair Tool. Um, this one is for the PC or Mac or Linux or whatever. They have different uh, flavors there. So download that. It's pretty easy to install it. Uh, just hit next, 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 finish. On the end, sometimes it does give you an error about um, C++ or something like that. If it does, just ignore it. It's not that big a deal. Um, just ignore it and, um, and you'll be fine. But, uh, what you want to do is take your controller, take your USB to, um, to micro here, and, uh, and plug it in. Actually, it's, I don't think it's micro, I think it's mini. So this guy here, uh, just plug it in up here. If it's the first time plugging it in, your computer will detect it. Um, you'll get some funky lights here. Your computer will detect it. Um, let that finish detecting and then hit the hit the app and then turn it on here it'll say like uh, detecting and then installing drivers and then just give it about a minute or so and then what you want to do is uh, paste your Mac in there and then just hit update and bam just like that the it'll it'll go from here to here and means it's updated and that's all you have to do on the computer very easy so just update it and uh, and then you're done. And then you just uh, disconnect your uh, PS3 controller and we're on to step three. All right, on to uh, step three. 
So what you want to do is go into your uh, Play Store again and download this um, now the Synaxis controller program. I think it costs like 99 cents or or buck 99 or something. It's very it's not that expensive and it's totally worth uh, what you're getting out of it. So. Uh, what you want to do is um, turn on your Bluetooth if you haven't done so. Uh, to do so, just scroll down, hit the little Bluetooth up here, and then uh, go back into your um, controller. Then you want to hit Start, and um, and this will just search for it. Hit the Start button on your PS3 controller. It says Listening for Controllers. It might fail once or twice you know depending on how you do it but bam client uh, one connected battery status full so that's cool I know that there's full batteries in, or that's charged so now you just wanna um, basically um, just go into your uh, favorite game and you know start uh, you can start playing with it now so uh, let's open up N64 OID and hit the old school wave race This takes you back, eh? So, um, I guess before we start, I already did my buttons for what they're supposed to be, you know, mapped them out. You can do them in, it's got nothing to do with the controller or with this tutorial. Um, it all will depend on which uh, emulator you're using. So you just go into the emulator and map your buttons to whatever you want them to do for depending for which game. So I have different sessions saved for this game or for Mario or whatever, right? So, all right, now let's take a look how the controller works. So press start. We'll go to championship. I'll go normal. Start race. You're noticing a little bit of lag. I think that's the ROM, not my, um, not my phone. Cause usually during the race, it's pretty good. Just the, the start up, and it's uh, it's usually in the same spots too. So suggesting that's the ROM. So I can use these buttons here. Or I can use the joystick. Oop, gonna miss that one. Well, there you have it. How to hook up your PS3 to your Android phone and uh, be able to use it for games and for whatnot. So, I will be coming out with other um, um, games as well here, maybe how to's on this stuff. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned, and um, you'll see them uh, coming out. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, post them down below. Um, as always, if you like this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, that way um, uh, other people can see this. Uh, if you share as well with uh, your friends, uh, other people will see this and be able to enjoy uh, this as well. And uh, yes, if you want to see more of these videos, um, please hit the subscribe button and that way you'll get them as soon as they come out and uh, you won't miss a thing. Alright, I believe that is it for my time. As always, I appreciate yours. Have a good one. Bye.